God has chosen you. Jesus has chosen you and In this year, to go and bear fruit. Amen. Before Christ will leave the earth. He one time began to speak to the disciples okay. in an encouragement that you must know that you did not choose me. I chose you. Are you there? And it was very true that Jesus chose every disciple that followed him. He fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And at the end of the fasting, he started walking on the shore of Galilee. Then he met John. He met Peter. He met James. They were mending their nets after fishing. Then he told them, Stop this work and follow me. And they stop and about their drum and they follow Jesus in the They did not ask Jesus any question. He just spoke to them. Stop this work. Follow me. And they stopped. Because he has power and authority of our lives. Today, that power of Jesus is coming to our life once again. He met Matthew. He was in a Collector's boot. Now, collecting tax that early money. Jesus told him, Now, stop this work. Come out of the boot. Follow me and you become my disciple. Immediately, he came out of the boot and followed Jesus and also became a disciple of Christ. So, it is with everyone that believes in Christ today. Most of times, we always tell ourselves that we came to church by ourselves. Nobody led us to Christ. Nobody convinced us. We walked to the temple and said, and we decided to worship God. It is never true. Your life is not in your own hands. There is a supernatural being who created all of us and has given us life. So, therefore, he has power to control your life. He told them categorically, you did not choose me. We did not choose to worship God. But rather, Christ chose us. When he chose us, then his life began to shine on us. Then we begin to do in our life. But from now on, we must worship God. Are you there? When he chose us, he also delivered us from every power of darkness which were holding us down not to be able to worship God. Not to be able to move with God. He chose us and also appointed as stewards, as servants, as worshippers in his house. And from now on, from now on, throughout this year, and for the rest of our life, we shall begin to bear fruit. Are you there? I am telling you something which God has purpose in his heart to do for both of us. He's going to do for all of us here. So one verse three says, "We are like a tree that is planted by the side of a river, which is growing in water and nutrient from it, and we do not know when it's dry season and when it's each time we have supply." of everything we need to survive. So what will happen is that we will just continue bearing fruits. The Jeremy chapter 9. Are you there? Bearing fruit. This year is our year that you to bear fruits. 
You also bring somebody to the house of God. You also encourage somebody. You also pray for somebody. And the miracle, the signs and wonders of God will occur in your life. Are you there? Wow. You tell me now from the school. Has somebody seen you there? You tell me chapter 9. Listen, Israel. Today you are about to cross Jordan to go and drive out nations greater and stronger than you. Today, God is speaking to you that you are about to cross poverty and enter a situation where you are looking about poverty from now. Prosperity will be your portion. You have control over Ghana City. Every world currency is under the control of the Almighty God. And to God gives it to you, you can never possess it. Today, may God give it to you. I promise you to lie. Somebody you see right now. Shall not be poor anymore. The job that will be the portion. So today, and now we are being empowered to go and possess a machine which formerly was stronger than us. In the past, they were stronger than us. But from today, we are stronger than them. And we are overpowering them and bringing them down. From now on, the God of acceleration will accelerate you and be able to do that. You will overtake every situation and you will succeed. There is a joy in my heart. And that joy should flow in your heart also. Because God is about to do good things again. Something good that you cannot understand is going to happen in your life. You see, then large cities with large cities fortified with heavens go up. A cities that have been protected. Prosperity that have been protected. But God is going to give it to us. Verse 2. The people are strong and tall. Even though for the past we make situations that were stronger. But this year, whether they are taller or smaller, from God is bringing them down in the world. There is a damp of the Spirit of God in this house. There is a damp of God's grace in this house. There is a pouring of God's favor in this house. May you receive it right now. You are going to favor today. You are going to bless today. You are taking a double blessing to your house today. The goodness and mercy of God is coming upon you. Right the power of God is overshadowing you up today. And you shall be totally different from any other person. You see, the descendants of Anakim, Anakim, you know about them and you have heard. It's said about them. Who can stand up to the sons of Anak? It's in the past. There were giant people. That when you see them coming, you have to buy them. Those represent troubles. Problems that were giants. Situations that were giants. Problems that were so giants. That when you hear of that problem, they begin to shrink. But from today, the power of God has visited us again. And that power, that giant spirit, has come down before your region. That giant demon has come down to you now. Freedom is ready in your life. Freedom is ruling in your system. You are in a liberty now. You are in a comfortable living now. Freedom of God is coming to you. Freedom is your portion. Someone will take it right now. Today, 
the church. Uh, I mean, I against the church. Against the family. Uh, from today. Uh, from today. Uh, from today. Uh, those who say the trap. Uh, uh, as they are setting the trap. As they are setting the trap. And we are missing your name. But the Lord will do the increase of our lives. Somebody receive me. From today. Any accident. Whether I be in the sky. Whether I be on the land. Whether I be on rockets. Whether I be black land. Against your life. Against your family. Against the church. With the angel of God. Being ahead of us. Let's fight this out. Maybe a life on a time. 